Hi, my name is Lenny, also known as Double Idiot, and in today's video, we're going to be painting Easter eggs. Now, the basic idea I have, right, this is a kind of terrible idea, is to coat the bottom of this tin, right, this thing, with paint. And then, once I've done that, I'm going to roll the eggs around in the tin. And this will hopefully put a image of sorts onto the tin. Now again, what we're going to do for this is uh, Mars, basically. We're going to make a Mars Easter egg. An Easter egg that also happens to be the red planet. You're wondering why I'm mixing up some blue and white here. Well, basically, I'm mixing up a nice icy-ish color for the ice caps of Mars, you know? I'm wondering why I'm wearing gloves, it's for personal reasons. Well, a multitude of reasons, actually. The first of all is because I'm planning to eat after this, so I don't want to have paint in my food, but anyway. Let's just get this in. Now we have our blue. Now I was thinking we're going to do a single area for the ice caps. We're going to say... Here, I'm trying to have some water. Let me go. Let me go rinse off my glove real quick. The next part is to mix white and red. Well, white, red, and yellow. Because we're again going for a rusty color. And while it's called the red planet, Mars isn't actually fully red. It's more of an or a, a rust color, right? And you know, well, red is a fairly accurate description. It doesn't quite capture. The actual nature of the way the planet looks. So we're going to grab this. Now all the paints mixed together. <laughs> Except for like blue and the others. So you know, let's see, this should get, this should become orangish eventually, right? With, well, I say eventually, it'll, it'll get there, trust me. You want to mix before the recording? Well, again, it's because I wanted you to watch me shut. I wanted you to watch the chaos. <laughs> I'm gonna take one of the cleaner fingers, pull it into the white, and then make this a bit lighter. And. Ooh, there we go. Does that look like a rust color to you? Hmm? Does it? Hmm. Not quite. It needs to be a little bit more white. Maybe a little bit less white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some black here. It's now just duller, right? Because rust is very dull, honestly. Rust is not a vibrant shade, you know? Whoop, 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 whoop. And... Da -da -da -da. No, not, not quite. What does it look like rusty to you? It looks rusty to me. And when I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pour it into the tin. Should be fun. Actually, mark a thing, right? A small thing, a smiley face. It is an actual geographic feature on Mars, surprisingly and alarmingly. It's like Mars itself is taunting me. I think that's enough for now. I wonder why I'm finger painting this instead of using brushes. It's because brushes are for losers. They're for sad baby men who don't want to have fun. I'll dip some black around here so when you like, kind of blend things you can tell where the smiley face is and it's not just like a sort of mess. And we're not actually going to be able to paint directly onto the egg. We're just going to be able to paint by indirectly by random process now. There we go. Yeah. I'm gonna rinse these off again. 
take two. Okay, I'm back. Now for the interesting part, the rolling part. We're actually gonna take this one. I'm gonna say, I don't know, should we roll it at the tips or the sides? You know, I'm gonna roll out the tips. Sue me if you want to. Again, yeah, remember, no direct painting, just rolling. Made the smiley face too big to really roll it into the thing, so you know, just remain there. It's, it's a sad remnant of my hubris. Now, as we can see, we now have the ultimate in painted eggs. It's Mars! Can you leave that there to dry? How old are you next? Hmm. I actually don't know. I know what we're doing next. No green, so I can't do it. Let's do Saturn. Whoop. I have a dumb idea. I'm gonna try and mix this in to get a different shade. Actually, it's just the same shade, it's just continued the red. And now it's purple. Hmm. If I had more of the blue, that'd actually be purple. Er. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make Neptune or Uranus. You pick you make take your pick of which one it is. Yeah, there's just a tiny bit of blue. Whoop. Oh, uh, that's actually a lot bluer than I expected. I'll have to pour in more uh, of the red rust color. I may have underestimated the, how concentrated these paints are in a doll. Now let's see. Whoop. Is that purple? It's starting to look purple to me. Is it look purple to you? You probably can't see it very clearly because you're at an angle that shows my face and not the paint. Screw it. Now we're gonna have the now we're gonna have the interesting part. I'm gonna paint a few white stripes in. So by rolling it around, I should get a texture that has a vague resemblance to Neptune or Uranus. Again, pick. They both they both look similar. They both look so similar that it's like kind of like who cares? I mean. Does one of them have rings? I don't think either of them have rings. Uh, don't, don't call my astronomer friends to correct me. Or any astronomer, actually, I don't have astronomer friends. Because astronomers hate me after I blew up a planet. It, it was, it was complicated, okay? Now let me just grab this one. I tr there wasn't anybody on the planet, you see. It was just a planet. An uninhabited planet, you know, that I blew up to power generator station for science stuff. Don't, don't, a don't ask questions. Just, <laughs> it's a long, long story. And it all started when I decided against moving to Alaska in the nineties. Now, if you're wondering why I decided against moving to Alaska in the 90s, it's because uh, people did, well, did all, all the stupid things in the 90s. It actually looks more like Earth's moon. Maybe it's Deimos because it's so lopsided. I thought it looked purple, it's just gray, actually. A moon. But not your moon. It's, I don't know, Cartosa's moon or something. Take, just roll, roll dice at random. I'm gonna. I've got two more to do, and no idea what to do with them. Yeah. Grab the light blue. Hopefully this will fix things, probably not. They'll probably just get grayer. Like my brother's ex-wife. Now, if you want to know my brother's ex-wife, you ex -wife, have to ask him about that, because reasons. I think he'll tell you the full story. He probably won't, actually. He hasn't even told me the full story. He hasn't even told his ex-wife the full story of his ex-wife. Ooh, yeah, yeah, that's good. There we go, there we go. Nice, brilliant blue. Now we'll just, uh, there's a little black in it on the side, and we should get a... Wait, I'm gonna need to go for a zigzag pattern now. Come on, drizzle properly. Uh, 
Oh, it's working? Working? Does this look like eyes, maybe? No, it won't look like eyes. It'll look like... Knowing how this technique, or black thereof, has been going, it will probably look like, uh... Like Uranus, actually. There we go. All of it. <laughs> Just like the, the, the darkness of the void from whence I came. Don't ask for that reference. Let me rinse so that I don't contaminate the... You know what? Okay, here we are. Let's go to Uranus. And, oh, is it... Nope, nope, it's just getting the black. <laughs> Wait. Maybe if I... Yeah. Ooh. I may have done too much black. I, keep, I, do, I have underestimated the potency of the paints. What do you think? You look, think it looks like Uranus? No, I think it looks like Uranus. Y you know what I'm referring to. <laughs> <laughs> Screw it. We have Mars, the Moon, Uranus. What should we do for number four? First of all, we're gonna make it white just because. We're gonna dump the white in here. Ooh. I'm gonna dump the last of the blue. Wait, there is no blue. Well, listen. Tell Neptune. Tell Neptune himself that I wasn't trying to mess him up. I was just distracted by. Wait, no, this is wrong. There we go. White. 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 That might be the most Earth-like planet, even though there's no green. I say Earth-like because this one will have clouds. We'll be like another Venom, you know, another symbiote. <laughs> this is the color palette for a new symbiote. We're calling him... Uh... Don't answer that. <laughs> We're calling him a Noctune. <laughs> Look at it! It's chaos! It's... Actually, let's put like my home planet. Uh, <clears throat> Alright, so that's... Four out of four. I'm done for now. <laughs>